everyone, my name is Hafo and today I've got um, a nice little After Effects tutorial for you guys. Uh, it's a really easy one and I'll quickly show you what it does. It's called the Speech Bubble Effect, well I think it is. And as you can see on my Hex Challenge video, it's basically just a nice little opening title or you could have it as a cinematic and when you watch it it has the little scribbly line effect and it just looks like a really nice tutorial. So not tutorial, just effect. Um, and yeah, I'll show you how to do it real quick. First of all, you're going to want to go on to Google uh, Images and just type in Speech Bubble. This is because you're going to want to get an image of a speech bubble, believe it or not. Uh, I dragged... I've already saved it. This is the one I used. It's on this first page. And um, yeah, you just save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it. Uh, then you're going to want to load up After Effects, which may take up few seconds um, but yeah as you can see it's a nice tutorial you can also get it to move around with the tran with the uh, cinematic which is what I did on my video as you can see it kind of wiggles but I'll save that for another tutorial so here we go you're gonna want to create a new composition and I just have mine as 1280 by 720 59.94 I'm just gonna name it bubble exclamation mark there and then I'm gonna import by double clicking and go to my desktop and click open on the file then I'm gonna drag it into my timeline you can either do it by dragging it down there or onto your screen I prefer to do it there I find it a lot just generally easier uh, let me just make this 100% on fit up to yeah okay and uh, then you're gonna wanna get your pen tool which is up here you can either click on that or press G. Just just an easier way of doing it. Get it back. Right, yeah. Press when you're on your mouse, you just click press G and there's your pen tool. And you just want to click around the edges of this. You don't have to drag it or anything, you literally just click around the speech bubble. Trying to be as uh, precise as you can. As it does look nicer when it's precise. But I'm just gonna rush it a bit for tutorial sake. Um but yeah, I tend to um, use like this speech bubble. I've used it a few times. This specific one. It can be any. You can do it for any shape or anything. This I just think it looks awesome with a speech bubble. And if I get time, I'll quickly show you how to do it with some text as well. So you can add that into the speech bubble, or you can just have that on its own. It doesn't really matter. So I've nearly done this. And then to finish it off, yeah, just click on the first one, and then you can see it's properly masked. At the moment it doesn't look too great, but then you're going to want to go on your effects and presets in the corner. Yours may be up here, I don't know, but you can still find it if it's up here. You won't be able to search, you'll just have to look through. But your effect is called Scribble. Uh, it This comes with After Effects, and you just drag it on to the speech bubble. And as you can see, it's come up with this nice little, um, nice little lines on the speech bubble. So you can change the wiggles per second because when you browse through it kind of you can see it wiggles and uh, I tend to change mine to 3 it's not too fast and it looks quite nice you can change the colour of it um, I like mine kind of a lighty blue that's quite nice and uh, yeah that's about it it's really easy I'll quickly show you how to do some text what you're going to want to do is just quickly get your text which is also up here you can press command no, you can't. You can press. So I don't know the shortcut of the text. Anyway, uh, it's click it. I use Bebas for this because it's a nice bold font. So if I type in Tehaps Tuts, um, I'm just going to centre that. Um, make it a bit bigger. When I make them bigger, I always hold Shift because it keeps it in proportion. Uh, then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to right click on the actual text itself down here click create masks from text this is very important create masks from text then just do the same drag in your scribble effect I'm gonna drag it drag it down here this time but as you can see it only does the first letter okay so what you're gonna then wanna go and do is click scribble up here and then all masks and as you can see that finishes off the rest of them also doing the little scribble effect and you might wanna just change it to three 
wiggles per second, which is what I like. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, it's a very nice effect, please like the video, help me a lot, and uh, check out my channel for more tutorials on After Effects, and I'll also be doing some Final Cut Pro tutorials. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and uh, good luck with it. Okay, guys.